Yeah. Okay. Shalom Yisraya. We greet you all. Back at you again. The cooking. Reach the preacher. Great day that we're going to enjoy each other. We tend to have a monthly gathering whereby we call it a day of fellowship, where the Ach, we get together in our blue jeans and we sit in the plaza, enjoy the beauty of that day. We work all during the day and so in the evening we get together. So it is a day today whereby they all often work. We're just going to have our fellowship day today. And with that, I am cooking today. I want to show you some of the things that I'm going to cook, prepare for the community, my Isho and I. And not only that, it is a blessed thing whereby we can sit at the table together and enjoy the riches of Yah's blessings that he grants unto us Yisrael. So this is a fellowship of a true Yisraelite community. Look at what I have today. Let me show you. All right, these are not my personal recipes, but I do invent and create things as I go. We have some beautiful natural uh, chicken here that we're going to have wings that I've skewered that it appears to be more but it's not some drumsticks we're gonna have that this is uh, uh, marinated with uh, with mesquite flavoring not only that we have some beautiful baby back tender beef ribs that we're going to have that and also the community they love the spicy hot foods at times and I'm preparing today some spicy hot wings and I will take the sauce look at that they're on skewers I will marinate or I will cook the sauce down and brush that over the chicken wings and you're talking about something that is spicy it is spicy so let me begin I'm gonna begin with the wings the grill is ready I want to show you what I'm going to do I want to uh, you want to sear these just a tad not much just a little and of course, because the sauce has a little sugar in it, there shall be a little caramelization in that. So the grill is a little hot. And then I will place these on the grill just to get a little searing. Not much, just to give it a little coloration so that the people will enjoy them. So this is hot spicy sauce with some of our homegrown peppers in this, cayenne, and jalapeno habanero, all of that is incorporated in this sauce, so it is spicy now. If you are not, if you're tender-hearted when it comes to spicy food, you don't want this. I put these, I saw this method here, the put, putting the wings on the skewer, because it appears to be more than it is, and so the belly is not apt to eat three or four or five wings, one or two is more than enough. Just the appearance alone creates or alters the appetite. So we'll put these on just to sear them. We'll take them out of off the hot coal, and then we will uh, we'll get them going. We're gonna try to sear these for a moment. All right, let's do that. While I'm doing that, here I am. I will get the ribs going. We have the ribs here. The grill is ready to go. It is at the ideal temperature. And what I will do here is put the baby back beef ribs on the grill. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Beautiful ribs. They'll cook. I'll put them on the grill and let them cook. Uh, it should take around five hours to do all the cooking today. My Isho is in the dining hall preparing some of our fresh homegrown broccoli. We're going to have cauliflower. We're going to have turnips. We're going to have ribs. We're going to have uh, for food for those that do not eat meat, vegans, and some food for them. We're going to have a beautiful time today. Fellowship. We'll eat. The Ark will sit in the plaza, enjoy each other, and sipping on maybe a little tea or whatever. But we're going to have a wonderful day today. It's enough ribs here for uh, two or three, four meals. I'm cooking enough for the Shabbat. What I'm cooking today will be enough for the Shabbat, enough for today, and enough for tomorrow as well. You don't need but one or two of these ribs, and that's more than enough. And uh, you will see the beauty of this as it cooks. During the course of the day, we'll keep you informed, let you see. 
And then when we all get when we get it all together, we will give you a shot of the final meal of the preparation when it's all done. Where we will gather to have a great time today. Just fellowship. We do that all the time. But we like to fellowship with each other. The world doesn't do that, but we fellowship. So these are beautiful beef, baby back ribs. Man. We butchered a cow here. We and uh, we have some of the most beautiful meat. This meat did not come from the cow we butchered, though. I'm thinking about cooking a some deer today as well. I'm not certain. I would like to. The brothers, the Ach, on the last week, they have they have knocked out uh, 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 Yusipia two, Shimri got one, and Yawasa got one. So we've gotten four deer. And the last, uh, I would say 10 days, they are hunters. They know how to hunt. And they are out today hunting. They are from work. So we bless you all for that, that we can fellowship with each other. All right. See those ribs? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. This play more than enough to everyone, and especially for my friend who's here from, from Ohio, Mikaya, and his Isha Mikaya L in Tisafanaya. Always take care of him when he comes. Let me move this up just a little. You don't want them, you want to cook these around uh, 220 degrees. That's more than enough, 250. Let them cook slow and take its time. And then you will have wonderful succulent ribs that's not falling off the bones, but they will be delicious. Let me get back to the chicken. I don't want that to burn. All right. We just want to get a nice sear on this chicken, that's all. Nice little sear on the chicken to make it look nice, above all things. Just a nice little sear. I'm going to put it on here. Ah, uh, it will sear. Takes a little time. Look at that. That's going to be a beautiful meal. When I finish this, it's going to be extremely beautiful. And taste, taste, my. I don't know how it will taste, but I know it's going to taste well. Look at that. We have the other Ach, they're out working, taking care of the things in the community. And, and uh, we can take advantage of them being off from work. And then we were, going, we were going to fellowship with each other. That's beautiful, to have that kind of fellowship. So we'll put the drumsticks here. Just a few drumsticks. All right. Like to keep things clean. It's a beautiful day here in Jefferson, South Carolina. Very pleasant. It's going to get to around 66 degrees today, maybe 70. But a very beautiful day. We're going to enjoy that. We're going to enjoy the fellowship and have a wonderful time. Well, while I've got that going, this is not a difficult meal to cook today. This is a Dutch oven or a Dutch pot. It's thick. You put things in this and it cooks. It's a very heavy pot. This pot weighs about... Ah, that's a nice... This is a probably... This is probably 25, 30 pounds here. Maybe a little more than that. Tremendous cast iron pot. And what I will do with that, I will take the sauce that I marinated the chicken in I will put it in this Dutch oven. And the reason I do that, I want to, I want to reduce this down to a paste. Then I will brush that over the wings. You will concentrate the heat of the cayenne, the habanero. This is not for the faint of heart. There are those here that love the season at times. We don't eat like this every day. Once a month I will cook and I enjoy doing that. And uh, uh, they enjoy that concentrated, uh, f flagrant flavors and the hotness and the spiciness. They enjoy that. So I will take the Dutch oven and I will put this the remainder in the Dutch oven. Then I will put this on the large grill here. And let that cook through the whole process and it will reduce itself. You see the caramelization, you see how the chicken just a little searing on it. Not much, just enough to get it seared, to get a little color. 
these chicken wings don't have much color. They look horrible. So I'll do this. And I'll add a little wood to this to stoke the fire up somewhat. Get it up to about 300 degrees, 280, somewhere like that. It doesn't take long for the wings to cook. Two hours. That's all it takes. So when you get a little sear on them, you want to kind of move them off the heat. Just move them off the heat. And uh, they'll begin cooking. They're in the process of cooking now, but just move them off the heat. You just want to sear them a little bit. Get a little coloration. They will get colorful and beautiful with this, this pepper, and this sauce on it. We grow peppers during the summer and then we, we dehydrate them and we reduce them and we can use them for all kinds of purposes. But that's what we do. Beautiful life to live. I enjoy it. I would not want to live any other way. I could live other ways, but this is the way I've chosen by the commands of Yah that we learn how to love each other. We as a nation, we haven't learned how to love each other. We don't know how to. We don't care for each other. We say that in the verbal expression. But we really don't give a damn. Our hearts are shut to each other. We don't know how to tolerate each other. We tolerate the world. People will say, I curse or kala. Well, I don't speak a curse upon the people of Yah. When I use the word damn, it is reference in Torah. Yah is going to damn. For this reason, he shall send them strong delusions that they all might believe the damned lie that they might be damned. And I use the word hell. He's going to destroy them into the hellish darkness of a bliss. And that's the truth. Hallelujah. These men today are not dealing with the sins of Yisra'ya. They're dealing with the, with the skirt tail issues. Learn how to be kind. Hell, if you don't deal with the sin, you will never learn how to be kind. Cooking for you today, all right? Bye. All right. Beautiful. The ribs are going. Let me see the temperature. I need to jack that temperature up on my ribs just a little bit. All right. So what I tend to do is add coal as I cook. All right. We get the temperature up on my ribs. Get them up. process where you add coal keep them going at all times okay this will get the heat up on the rim I'm going to add I don't want to add a large piece but a small piece I tell you what hold on for one moment I'll be right back try your back at you okay had to go get I'm all this is a tool that everyone has here in test you all the, the ish because we split wood Take shoulder and back. And this is some beautiful hickory. I'm going to split this so that I can put this on the grill and get that beautiful hickory flavor. Doesn't take much. Oh. All right. not like that stuff you buy at the store. This is real hickory. I'll tell you what, those pieces nice enough, okay? Come on. What I will do with this, I'll put me a piece on my, here, yeah, this will keep the grill going. Nice piece of hickory on wood on that, see that? Keep that going. Look at this. See the flavor and the smoke, it will smoke those ribs. You want those ribs to be whereby the meat is not falling off the bone, but you want to be able to pick that rib up at the bone and eat it. All right. You that worry about my hygienic nature, okay, have a cloth and wash my hands. How about that? Okay, here we go. Got this rolling, beautiful. Keep the heat in. What I'm going to do, this is going to take a moment. 
I want to put a piece of wood on this. Nice piece, nice chunk here. We're going to just put everything on the grill. We're going to come back when it's looking more beautiful. We'll let you see, all right? That's going to work. How about that? Got that ready. You get something? No, sir. All right. No deer this morning. No, sir. All right, so we're cooking. Ah, you want to duck? No deer. What I'm going to do is make sure that we have everything in place. Got the wings here. They'll get beautiful. I'll put the wings here. These are the hot spicy now. This is not for the faint of heart. This is not for the juvenile. I'm going to put these here. All right. When we finish, they're going to be succulent, beautiful, wonderful to eat. You actually can stack this, but I don't like doing it that way. Now, what I'm going to do with the pot here, I'm going to set this over here because I want this to reduce down, to get thick. You brush that over the chicken. And now what we have here, just a regular uh, mesquite chicken that's been seasoned overnight. And I'll put this on here for the, those that do not like spicy food. You get one of these and one rib, more than enough meat. Actually, it's a little too much. But we eat meat here. You heard the conversation I was asking Yawasadak, did he get anything? They've been out hunting this morning, deer hunting. We do have one deer uh, in, the, uh, in the cooler. We have butchered four in the last 10 days. All right, so we have some wings here. We have drumsticks here for the children. They love drumsticks. Put some here. Don't want to get it under the direct heat. So I have to be careful. Make sure I put it in places that it doesn't cook too fast. All right. Place it there. Okay. Hallelujah. We'll let this catch a blaze. We'll see what happens here. All right. We got that done. All of that is Okay. Get the pans cleaned up so that we can utilize them again. We got that done. We'll close everything up and let, let the heat take its course. And we'll check back within an hour, about an hour, and we'll let you know how things are going. Until then, Yabrak Yisraya, Shalom, Shalom. All right, Yisraya. Again, we're back. You see the meat is cooking. What I'm doing here in this Dutch oven Redipping the wings to get that tremendous, savory, pungent heat on them and putting them back. This is almost done here. These we're going to barbecue. Ah, the smoke. You see how I'm dipping these wings in this, in this sauce? Making sure to get thoroughly drenched. And then I'm putting them back on the grill. That's to get that pungent robust flavor yeah those here that loves that all right see that look easy putting them back letting them cook uh, it's all right if you stack them on top of each other now it's all right uh, getting that flavor there that pungent flavor of the, you see that look at that see just dripping them in that sauce let it run that's all right let that sauce run on it. And then I'll give them a basin when they're near the end. It really doesn't take these wings but about an uh, hour and a half, two hours to cook. You see that? Look at that, beautiful. And same thing with the drumsticks. Just dump them. Put them in there. See how beautiful those drumsticks look? Look at the coloration. See how beautiful that is? Beautiful. Put them here. Put all this here. One wing. Dump it. Put it here. It's going to be savoring, sweet. Meat is going to be beautiful. It's going to taste excellent. You see 
got the heat kind of directly under. And what I will do here is move these drumsticks over a little bit because we are going to barbecue these for the children, those that do not like the hot spicy stuff. These are a few more spicy ones, we'll put them on. Ah, uh, okay. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, what a great day it is. It's beautiful here in Jefferson, South Carolina. It's around 70 degrees now, maybe 68, somewhere in that range. But it's very beautiful. Pleasant outside. I've been in the greenhouse and pruning the tomato plants. And I'll show you what you need to do as far as growing tomatoes beautifully. And not only that, we're going to give you a total exploration of the Teshua community. We have a beautiful community here. We live and strive to please Yah. You in our ignorance when we fail, what a great blessing that is. Because we know that Yahshua is accountable for us. We have no power of our own, no strength, no beauty, no excellence. Hallelujah. So I'm cooking today. We're going to enjoy each other. Great fellowship. Look at that chicken. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. When I get the sauce on it. It's going to be even more beautiful. All right, the chicken is cooking well. We got the sauce boiling. We're going to, we're going to dip that several more times, and then we'll be able to uh, eat here later in the day. All right. Tap that down. Now you need to see my ribs. All right, my ribs. Come on over here. My temperature is a little too high. It's an idea. It's one thing about this charbroil grill. It tells you where... You need to keep the temperature for your food, all right? So look at these ribs. Ah, look at that. So I have them on top of each other so that as they cook, the moist of each rib will descend into the lower level. And these are going to be succulent. When I finish what I will do, I will, uh, I will, uh, I will take these ribs and put them in an aluminum pan and make them even more tender. And they will get tender. They're already tender. Look at that. The meat, they're nearly done. And so what I will do, these ribs are really basically done. You see that? They're basically done. Just a little more. You can eat them that way, but we're going to... See, they're basically done. We'll cook them for another hour or so, too. Then we'll put them in, a, in a, uh, an aluminum pan, whereby that will even tenderize them even more. All right? Yes, the fire is going. We want to... Keep the heat and everything as well. We got this beautiful piece of hickory wood rolling. It's a little too hot, but that's all right. We have our chicken. The temperature is not where I want it to be. It's around 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I would like to get it up to about 210. You want it somewhere around that range, 250, 60, really, to get a nice flagrance of layers of flavor in your meat. Uh, ah. Beautiful, isn't it? Ah. All right. We'll be coming back a little later on and we'll show you the end results of this process today. As I said, I was in the greenhouses because the temperature has risen here, and our solar greenhouse was quite hot, around 100 degrees, and I needed to go inside and uh, open the doors of the greenhouses and prune the tomato plants. I'll be teaching you some of the concepts of gardening and simple gardening and how to grow luscious tomatoes and what you need to do in order for your tomatoes to grow, right? How to fertilize, how to take care of that, show you our community and uh, in an overall way you can see homes and things that we have purchased had them moved here little of no money a few thousand dollars and they're beautiful homes hardwood floors and walls because they are they have taken the time to refurbish and we help we assist each other that everyone here has a beautiful home even if it's a mobile home and I'll show you what wonderful work you can do with the mobile home and make them so beautiful that People will not even know it's a mobile home. It can be done. Little of no money if we as a nation learn how to pool our resources. You have those that are in large cities 
why would not they and those that are leaders they not get together with their resources and purchase a building that they may dwell together there and create restaurants there create little boutiques for the bath of Tizayon to buy beautiful clothes that are chadosh and not dressing like some sleazy two dollar slut why not and that you have those that are in the community you can incorporate your resources you can create your own line of clothing you can make the clothing the bath or at home taking care of the children you can have your own manufacturing area you creating wares and clothes for the for the ish for the your sons your being what a great blessing that is you see how the world has taught us to be stupid as hell and selfish Israel and that should not be so it should not it should not be that way we can create that the industry that we as the ah we are out laboring and taking care of the resources but you find many of those that call themselves Hebrews up and these lazy big belly men that have what they call three or four wives they're simply playing out their lust and then they have the women out working that's not of y'all. Send them out, pimp them in a system. They're slaves to a master. They bring the money home and then he lays around all day on his lazy ass and does nothing. That is multiplied even in this ignorant nation. Big belly, fat, over grotesque looking men. They can't even walk up a flight of stairs. Yet they say they have three or four wives. If they're playing out their lust. They don't even know what love is. Uh, I did not mean to go off on that tangent because I'm cooking today, but I cook that way as well. One more peek at the ribs and we'll be getting back with you. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is so beautiful. I don't want them to cook too fast. I got to get my fire back a little bit. It is just raging too high. All right, how about that? You don't want it to cook too fast. You want it to cook slow to retain that moist, that is beautiful. And once I put them in the aluminum pan, see those ribs, they are done. I put them in the aluminum pan, it's going to tenderize them even the more, all right? Okay, we'll be back at you later on. Yabarak, shalom, shalom, yisra. All right. All right, we're back at you today, this beautiful day. The ribs, take a peek. What I'm putting here is a little apple cider vinegar. Apple cider now. Pure apple cider. No sugar or nothing. That's going to tenderize these ribs. What are they going to be sucking? Ah, sweet. Beautiful. See that? Look how beautiful they look. Got them in this aluminum pan for the next hour or so until my Isha takes them off the grill. They'll sit here. They'll be all right. You don't need to bother these no more. Just let them stay warm and they just get tender. Leave them more tender, all right? Let's take a look at the chicken. Okay, it's getting there. Ah, let's see, I'll spray a little of this on the chicken. Apple cider juice. We give it another layer of flavor. Enjoy all the layers. Enhance that. That pungent flavor. Two things I want to do. We get my barbecue ready. So what I do here, one more time a dip. Ah, you see that sauce? Look how rich it is. It's insanely rich. Put it here, all right? These chicken wings are done. We want them to be spicy. They love them spicy like that. So I want to make sure I do them right. Spicy wings. Now there are you that will say chicken wings are unclean. Your egg that a chicken is not unclean. Those birds or the fowls in there are tight and designed. Well, chickens eat anything, so does the bass and the bluegill. They all will eat anything from human down to whatever. They'll eat each other. God said it's clean. It's clean. So I'm putting a little spice on these. A little more to make it even more succulent. This should be done by noon. We'll pan them all up. But I like to... I like for things to be pretty and succulent and wonderful to eat. This is how I cook for the feast days when there are those that visit us so they can enjoy the wonderful food here. We have, we butchered 
I believe, 50 chickens for tabernacle. We butchered a, an Angus boil. I'll cook some of that and show you how beautiful that is. Look at that wing. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, uh, sure it is. Looks just more though, than more than it is, isn't it? Sweet, it has a nice crust on that. That you enjoy the sweetness and the, and the, and the pungent flavor of the chicken. Now these I'm gonna have to, I know what I will do. Ah, my utensils. I will take my tongues the thongs and dip them. How about that? Okay. Wrong ones. Okay. I got something I want to show you after this. I want to show you some, some of the most pure organic meat you can ever see. You can't get it any more organic than what I'm about to show you. Just give me one minute. Look at these wings. Look at that. Is that beautiful? That is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we can't ask for anymore. We will not complain. I will not complain about anything. I have much. Look at that. Spicy and hot and pungent. Beautifully fragrant. Ah, yes. All right, one more, one, one, two. Barbecue these wings. What I will do here, just put it all. I usually buy the cattleman sauce, then I add my spices, but today I'm lazy. So I am not going that way. Just put a little flavor on that for the children. It has the mesquite flavor already. This will simply enhance it. So I'll put me a little sauce in this bowl here. Doesn't take much. My brush. I will brush this on. All right, watch me. See these wings here? Beautiful golden brown. This is, this is a nice sauce. You can use this for anything. Beef, chicken, anything. It has the nice savoring layers of uh, mesquite seasoning on that gives it a nice little texture nice little flavor then getting the wings ready and the drumsticks look at that see how beautiful that is look at look how beautiful ah. mr barack hussein obama president can't eat any better than this isn't that right my friend huh all right cook and preach it back at it they don't know how to handle this. All right. The sa savoring, the chicken drumsticks, get them flavored. Get everything flavored. I want to show you some truly organic meat. You can't buy this kind of meat. I want to show you. One second. All right. Got the drumsticks rolling. Nice and beautiful. Look at that. I'll hit this one more time and then this will be done. Just get a little flavoring on that. And then what I will do here. One more shot of my apple cider vinegar. Get it rich, nice, flavorant. Okay, one more shot of my ribs. One more shot. This is apple. Cider vinegar here. Ah, I get. Ah. What king can eat any better than that? Not even the king. We are the children of the king. All right, I want to show you some organic meat that you cannot purchase with money. We have our experts, marksmen, they're taking care of us. Let me show you. Come on with me. All right. Let me get this up. Let me show you some beautiful meat 
we're going to eat. Look at this. Oh, my. Look at this. Uh, one shot, huh? Uh, look at that. <laughs> you see that? Huh? Beautiful big deer. Uh, Ock, they've been off hunting this morning, and this is what they brought us back to eat. That's organic, Dale, right? That's organic. Give it to me right. <clears throat> you forget it. Mm -hmm. Nah. 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 Boom! <laughs> ah, that's all right. So I have gone out. It's a lot of meat there, isn't it? This is what Jan made me. Said that we can eat this. It has split hoofs. You see that? And it also chews the cards. Nice buck. Look at that. We're going to eat him. What do you think he weighs, huh? We don't want to eat, huh? About 120 pounds. That's a nice deer there. They're plentiful around here, all right? All right. We'll talk to you again. All right. Shalom, shalom. All right, my friends. This is it. The ribs. Oh, they look beautiful. Succulent. Let me get my semi on the sample one and see what it's like. Here. See if it's tender. Perfect. The ribs are done. They're ready to go. Look at that. Look at the ribs. Nice and beautiful. Oh, they feel tender. Oh, man. Look what it tastes like. All right, the ribs are ready. We're going to put all this in one location. Leave it here and let it simmer until we're ready to eat. All right? Now let me see the chicken here. Oh, I see that's nice. Look at that. Chicken looks beautiful. Barbecue. Look at that chicken. Spicy, hot. That's our friend, little kitten. But, uh,. The sauce, you see what I let it cook down to? Just a paste. But that's dangerous. Take this to the side in case someone wants to dip their wings in that. And what I'm going to do here, put it all in an aluminum bag. Get it ready. All right. The ribs, the chicken. Look, look at that. Nice and spicy. Nice little gelatin. The chewiness of wings. I love wings. Love chicken wings. Spicy looking. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? See how the wings look. Wings are ready. This chicken is done. It's been done, but I wanted to make sure that flavor permeates. Look at the drumsticks. See how beautiful that looks? Look at that. Only a few of those. One wing. are done. Like a nice barbecue. Hot sauce on that. It's done. See that? Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look okay. at that. Beautiful presentation. All right. We'll cover that. Keep it warm. Texas barbecue. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Hold it on the little stick. 
This is not my idea. I got this from someone else. Another cool. These are for the little ones and those that don't like the spiciness of food. All right, look at that, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. All right, drumsticks. Look at those drumsticks, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Uh, it shows in the dining hall preparing other things. We cook today. We cook at least once a month together. I'll do the meat and she'll do all the other things. I know we have the broccoli that I harvest, cauliflowers and turnips. Having some rice and those that are vegans are having vegan pizza, and salad. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Look at that display. Isn't it beautiful? Simply gorgeous. All right, that's ready. What I will do is cover this. Rafaela. Rafaela. Tell Rafael come here, please. All right, we'll take this, move it here, move this here. You need me? Yeah, is everything done? What else you got to do? Uh, All right, come on, little ones, come on. Cornbread. All right. A little bit of cornbread. This is Marcella. Yeah. Go sit. Come on. Oh, sit. sit. Come, to come, come to me. Bring it here. Stop. All right. This is my Rafaela. She's in the dining hall cooking. She's doing the, uh, what are you doing? Broccoli. Broccoli. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Brown rice. Brown rice. With uh, black eyed peas. With black eyed peas. Um, what else? The salad? Yes, a salad. Salad. From our garden. From our garden. Um, Broccoli and all of that's from our garden. Let's yes. Say. Shalom. We're having tea. Tea. Uh, and a little pan of cornbread for Ina Sabaya. All right, a little pan of cornbread and for some. For the vegans, them. they get pizza. And we're going to have pizza, all right? So when we get everything settled on the bar, we will let you see that, and then we're going to dine, have a beautiful fellowship today, the Ark and the Echo. All right, I hope you enjoyed the cooking uh, experience today. Try it, it's easy to do. Always remember you don't, when you barbecue, you want to cook indirectly. You don't want to put everything under the fire. You can sear it and then you move it to the side and it'll cook perfect every time. All right. Ya barak. Shalom, shalom. Say shalom. Shalom. All right. That's it. Shalom, peace, and right. We are at the conclusion of today. We have cooked and prepared the meal for today. My Isha and I and others to assist her. I want to show you the meal and then we are going to eat and then we'll see you on the next video. Come on in the dining hall. All right. All right. Heading into the dining hall where we're going to eat and have a wonderful time today. All right. Come on. Okay. I want to show you what we have here. It's beautiful. Making the video, everyone. Look at that chicken. Everything is wonderful. Show you some of the things we have. Beautiful. Ah. Look at all of that beautiful brown rice. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, chicken granola. Ah. We're going to have butter. All right. Ribs. We have wonderful turnips from our garden. The sauce here. We have broccoli. Cauliflowers. Isn't that beautiful? We have lettuce. Fresh things from our garden. This is what we have today for a wonderful time, all right? So we want to share that with you, Yisraya, until the next video. Sure. All right?